Hello and welcome to the 27th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play a sound effect. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Also, there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our project. And basically, like I said, we're going to play a sound effect. And so that's pretty cool. So maybe you're in a game, you're shooting, you're running, and you just play some sort of appropriate sound effect. So the first thing you want to actually do, we can actually minimize this, and we want to create an audio folder within our resources folder. Remember earlier on we did some folder creation for the different resources for images. We can create a folder for audio now, and you just need the one for different devices, unless you specifically want to provide different audio. Chances are you wouldn't. And I've already got an audio file which is just called Cloyd and it's of the file format .wav do .wav .mp3 that should be all good and then the next thing we want to do is actually just go to our project and we need to add this audio folder as a reference so if we just, sorry about that it's easy we want to literally drag and drop that onto resources then this pops up minimize this now and we want to select this one here, create folder references for any folder, make sure it looks like this and you just click finish. Now we have our audio and any new audio files we place in this folder will automatically get updated which is pretty cool instead of you having to always manually add it. And the first thing you want to do is add or include the header for the audio, so you just hash include and it's simple audio engine.h not .j.h and now what we want to do is simply preload our sound effects and you naturally do that in the init function because that's what's going to be run first and we're just going to do so cocos denshan simple audio engine colon colon get instance let's move over a bit so I can see a bit more and preload effect now we literally just specify all the file names and we put audio because in the audio folder for slash colloid dot wav and we'll do a semicolon now that's preloaded that into memory our next step is to actually play it naturally you probably want to play it when some sort of event has been triggered but for the purpose of this tutorial it's going to play it when the actual app loads on this screen so I'm just going to do cocos tension simple audio engine get instance and you want to do play effect and we literally just specify the file name again so you do audio for slash colloid dot wav it's probably best if you put this into some sort of variable or some sort of hash define so if you need to change it again you just change it in the one place and then it automatically gets updated now if we run this just make sure the volume that it's high so you can hear it you'll hear a colloid sound effect. Almost finished compiling. While this compiler does uh, take this chance to say thanks for all of you, thanks for the subscribers, it's been fantastic, and thanks for all the comments. And it's with your support that we're able to make these videos if nobody's watching them, we can't really make them. Okay, it's loaded in the retina. iPhone doesn't really matter, but okie dokie. you should have heard that sound effect right there. I'm just going to run it one more time so you can just hear it again. Volume 
run it one more time. There you go, you should have heard the sound effect. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to play a sound effect repeatedly. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk or comment or message us directly via YouTube. All the required links will be in the description for the source code. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.